everybody, Renita Young here, and this is Your Money Story. Welcome to Wednesday. Now today we're gonna talk about giving kids unique gifts for the holiday season. Specifically, we're talking about giving kids stocks, a piece of a company. And so I have a really great guest coming on to talk about that. Maya Corbrick of teach.kids.money is here. She has a lot of educational resources about teaching kids personal finance and investing and feels like this is one way to do that both of those things, as well as teach kids about generational wealth. So hang on, let me grab Maya. Good morning. How are Good you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you doing? I'm well. Thank you so much for being here. You are not super far away in Canada, correct? That's correct. I'm in so, Toronto, Canada. In Toronto. Okay. So, hey, listen, we start with your story, right? And so you are a former CFO, right? You're also an author, tax accountant, CPA. You also founded the Denari, uh, Denari Wealth Academy, I believe, uh, Financial Academy. And so what I want to know first is how did you grow up relating to money? Well, um, that's a great question, actually. Um, I really didn't have much uh, financial education growing up. I'm actually a, a first-generation immigrant to Canada. My family came uh, to Canada when I was 15 from war-torn Bosnia, and we lost everything in the war. So we came to Canada with two suitcases and fifty dollars, and uh, we lived in government housing and shelters. So it was pretty rough when I was growing up. Um, I had to have two part-time jobs when I was in high school. So all that sort of prompted me to become a good money manager. And then eventually I became a CPA and I had all those roles that you mentioned. But um, as a CPA, I realized that um, there are a lot of people out there who haven't been taught about money in school or from their parents. And if we can help our kids learn how to handle this money properly, hopefully we can put them on a path of uh, financial success. Absolutely. And so today what we're talking about is one way to do that. And thank you for taking us through your journey, just breezed right through it. So we're talking about the opportunity to gift kids uh, a piece of the stock market. And so before we get into that directly, um, when you look at guidance on how people should go about this, I think the first thing you talk about is how people should choose stocks for their kids. So how should they? So, um, well, there are a couple of ways, really. But the first one, especially when the kids are really, really young, to get them investing, I would suggest that parents pick a, a stock of a company that kids know and understand. Um, it could be, let's say, I'm just giving examples here. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. But um, this is just something that I did with my kids. I picked the stock of Disney. I pick, um, my kids also own a stock of Apple. Um, each of these companies are companies that they understand, they know. And um, once, we, once I bought these stocks for them um, throughout the year, we periodically review how these stocks are doing. We look at news. And you know, if the news is talking about Disney or what Disney is doing, I usually ask my kids, like, what do you think? Is this going to increase the share price? Is it going to decrease it? And things like that. Very good to do that as well. That was my next question. How else do you manage um, teaching kids about this throughout the process? So you ask them critical thinking questions. Um, you just shared that. You asked them, you know, has the stock going up or down? And um, anything that you have in the news. Um, but also, you talk specifically about how when you talk about this, you're not necessarily talking about day trading, right? So tell us the strategy mm -hmm. around this. Right. So, um, so I said there are two ways of doing this. So the first one, obviously, just to get kids interested is to buy these uh, stocks of these companies that they know and understand. Um, but I am not a day trader. Um, I don't buy hedge funds or anything that's complicated like that. My strategy really for my kids is um, a long-term strategy. We buy and we hold. Um, I try to also, with their allowance money, like the money, there's a portion of that money that goes towards investing. Um, we actually try to purchase stocks every month and uh, we use dollar cost averaging. Um, and, you know, the idea is really what we purchased and the majority of my kids' uh, portfolios actually contain ETFs and index funds. And for those of you who are watching and don't know what those are, those are uh, diversified investments that hold a whole bunch of stocks. And that way it just um, minimizes the risk uh, in terms of like, you know, losing your money. 
and hopefully, you know, getting good returns on that investment. All right. That's something that a lot of people did want to know. Some people are commenting on that. How do I avoid risk? So thank you for picking that up there. And so lastly, uh, this is also about the entire family learning about trading, um, not necessarily all, all day trading, but also just about investing in general. And you offer a family membership club, which is called the Wealthy Kids Investment Club. Can you tell us what people can expect to learn from that? Oh, absolutely. And so I just want to mention um, the reason why it's a family membership club is because a lot of parents did not grow up learning about stocks. And a lot of parents come to me and they say, I can't teach my child about investing because I don't know anything. So um, this is a club um, that basically it's all, all it really requires the families to do is spend half an hour each week. And each week they get a video as well as workbook, as well as a game to do as a family. And all that can be done in half an hour and they can learn basics of investing and then eventually how to invest into ETFs and index funds. And I made it really affordable because I want more people to do this because I know that everyone can learn about investing um, and so it's only $8 per month for the whole family. Okay, Maya, thank you so much for joining us, for sharing the ideas and guidance around how parents or other adults um, can buy the kids in their lives a piece of the market. So folks, if you want to learn more about Maya and her company, as well as the Family Investment uh, Membership Club, which is called the Wealthy Kids Investment Club, you can head on over to her page, Teach dot kids dot money that has all the relevant links to all of the work so thank you so much and hey have a lovely day maya and everybody else thank you for having me bye bye bye